Well, uh, I'm here now with Morris Cousins. Uh, I'm, I had a very successful show here for the past week. Morris, uh, the show went off superb. Yes, we started here on Thursday. With, uh, it's a new concept here to this country. Uh, it's for juniors, young riders and children on horses. It's um, something that's been introduced in the last two years. They can gain their certificate of competence here in Ireland now without having to travel abroad. Um, everyone that participated were very, very pleased with the four-day jumping here. And now we've just finished off the weekend with our spring tour, the Bluegrass Spring Tour. And uh, Morris, who was the instigator behind this new system that's, uh, that's, that went on here for the past three or four days? It's something that people wanted to do for the past couple of years, but now it's, it's, it's up and running. And uh, who was behind it originally? Well, it was introduced here, um, I would say, in the pony sector. They've been running it now for the last few years. They've had an international trial. And the juniors and young riders committee have decided to try and do something down along the same lines and prepare the kids for the European Championships. And that's where it's stemmed from. Uh, Morris, Bluegrass, uh, they're very good sponsors to have uh, on board. Uh, was it hard to get them to come on? or uh, with, with sponsorship at the moment and the way the country is going, you're, you're very lucky to have somebody like those here today. Well, the Bluegrass have uh, organised this sponsorship through the Show Jumpers Club and through Show Jumping Ireland. They've also sponsored classes here as well. They're very, very important company to have on board and they seem to be gaining a lot of strength in the country and they're doing a lot for the sport. Um, looking looking ahead uh, Morris uh, to see the amount of horses that uh, jumped here in the past couple of days and the way the country is at the moment financially does it surprise you to see so many horses or so many people still participating in, in the show jumping? Well it's very healthy for the sport to see such enthusiasm and so many numbers jumping uh, I think it probably reflects on how the teams have done in the ponies and the juniors and the children and horses and the senior team have been very, very good there towards the end of the tour last year. And there is good money for a good horse. There is, there is, there is a market there, so I think that's what's keeping the job quite help, healthy as well. Uh, we're coming here, Morris, Greg, as well, as you know, for... A good few years now. Every time I come here, Morris, you seem to have something new done all the time. Uh, is this is this why that Banadown is so successful now that you seem to be adding something new to it all the time? Well, I suppose we're um, a bit passionate about the sport ourselves. I've been at it since I left school, and we've also produced a few horses, and I've show jumped myself a lot. So we have a good idea of what's needed for the sport and try and make it as comfortable and as good for people as possible and I suppose that is a big help. I noticed too that uh, your grass ring at the back Morris I know you'll be using it at probably the next shows it looks in tremendous uh, uh, stage at the moment after such a hard year and I also noticed the ground here today where the Grand Prix was. You're a great man to, to look after grounds and to make sure that the ground is good when you come in to jump those big competitions. Yes, I think uh, it's very, very important. My job here is to have the grounds right, both the sand rings and the grass. Uh, then we leave the rest to the course builders and the judges and that. But for sure, if the ground conditions are good, it does help the whole thing. Uh, I go to a good few shows, Morris, through the years. And I do find that, that when you come down here, the facilities are always superb. I just noticed that even the gents' toilets today, the, the, again, they're after being upgraded. Your, your restaurant is always great. If we had a bit more of that, Morris, at some more of the shows, do you think we might get more people to come? F from, a, from a spectator point of view, we find it hard enough to get the people to come. Yeah. And if you have, a, if you have co people coming from other countries, maybe they might be sponsoring some of our horses and that. You know, what do we need, Morris? To, 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 we need more of what you're doing here if we're trying to get the people to come to, 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 to watch show jumping. Well, I think it is very important to have good facilities. Like, unfortunately, the day of jumping in the fields and the gymkhanas, while they have a very, very important role, and I would never like to see them go, but for people's comfort and that, 
especially early in the year. It would be very hard to hold an event like this in the field. So it, it is a little bit the way forward now. Would you ever think, Morris, of putting up a big indoor here? No, my my. Uh, if I can cater for the outdoor seasons from March until September, I'd I'd like the winter off for myself. Well, Morris, you're doing a great job here. Uh, I know you have a great team with you. Uh, we can't give you all the credit because uh, okay, there's always a leader, but a leader has to have a group coming behind him and I think you have a tremendous uh, group of people working with you here and long may it last for you Morris. I think the cameraman must be frozen stiff for the past couple of days so I think we should let him go this time and we'll go in and have one or two of your hot whiskies. Well I think that's a tremendous idea and I, I would like to thank all the team for working hard over the weekend and uh, they say behind every man there's a good woman so that's felicity. <laughs> well fair to you Morris and thank you very much Morris. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you.